Steve Burton is at the finish line now with a racer who is fast in many sports. Steve? Lisa, you got that right. This guy is phenomenal. NASCAR legend Matt Kenseth and Matt running his Boston Marathon. You ran Chicago just a little while ago, right? Six months ago in the fall? Yeah, I ran it in October. How would you compare Boston to Chicago? Well, we didn't have a great day in Chicago. It was really hot and humid, so the weather here was great. I love this area. I love coming up to Boston. I always love racing up in New Hampshire. Uh, it's, a, it's a great place. So the atmosphere was uh, second to none. It was, uh, it, was a, it was one of the better experiences in my life, honestly. Sporting experience through all the races and everything. This was really cool. The crowd, enthusiasm, and uh, just a huge event. Fun to be part of it. You know what your time was? I think it was 3.01 and change. So you want some good news? Sure. The good news is you beat Jimmy Johnson. When Jimmy Johnson ran it, but Jimmy Johnson ran it back in, in, and had a time of 3.09. Yeah, he was way younger. <laughs> <laughs> what was your most challenging part about this race? Uh, I think just pacing yourself in the beginning. There were such big crowds, and, and you couldn't really pass people, uh, which was kind of mm. good. It kind of held me back. And You're I think, used to passing people. <laughs> yeah. I think the biggest challenge is just not to kill your quads and all those downhills. It's so different than any other marathon I've ran. And uh, saving something for the end. So once I got over the top of Heartbreak Hill, I actually felt really great and, uh, and turned it on, and I finished really strong, so I was happy with that. What made you get into marathoning to begin with? Uh, well, the first one we ran, me and my wife trained together, so it was right after I stopped racing, and uh, I've never traveled overseas, and she's like, you can you can take me to Europe, let's both train, we'll run the Berlin Marathon, and we'll stay over in Europe and, and uh, vacation for a week. So that's what we did, so that was our first one in uh, 2019. You look great, man. Thank you, appreciate it. How old are you? I uh, just turned 50. 50 years old. Will you do it again? Uh, yeah, I hope so. <laughs> it was an awesome experience. Uh, congratulations. Thank you, appreciate it. Thank you, man. Wow, Matt Kenson, I was going to interview you. <laughs> Lisa, let's go back to you.